Hi, attorney Joe Jamanku with Jamanku Law Partners, a Bolingbrook, Illinois, and New Linux, Illinois-based law firm. Um, I uh, starting off this video series uh, discussing the ins and outs that we're going through in building a uh, new office. Um, it is not new construction, but uh, the building behind me we purchased a couple days ago, and it is about to go uh, through a renovation that frankly costs as much as the building did for us to acquire. Uh, it's a major renovation. It's the biggest renovation that I've ever done. It's the biggest construction project that our office has ever done. Uh, and there are gonna be some ups and some downs, and I figured it would be a good idea to document some of it. Talk about some of the legal implications uh, of such a project, give a few tips, and share a few stories of good, bad, and the ugly. Uh, so come along with me, I'll show you the property, and uh, we'll talk about the initial process of acquiring a building. So the building you see here uh, was uh, built in the year 1996. Originally it was a video store. Uh, it was open for um, over 10 years, uh, but it actually closed uh, about eight years ago and has sat empty uh, since. There's some junk that was left behind inside, uh, but nothing of any uh, use. Uh, the building though has good bones, but it needs a lot. First thing that it needed was to have the locks changed. Um, we have no idea how many people have keys to this building before we purchased it, so that's of course the first thing that we did. As we enter through the vestibule, there are two entrances. We will be splitting the property into two different parts. Um, this side of the building will become our office. There will be seven attorney offices, a conference room, various workspaces, reception, and so forth. The second side, which is almost as big, we're gonna have a wall running down the middle. Uh, that wall will uh, separate out a space for us to have a tenant occupy uh, somewhere around 3,600 square feet of the building. So they'll have their own entrance and can either use the space as it currently exists or it can be built out into another space. It is generally a blank canvas. Other than a few odds and ends that were left behind by the prior owners, that'll be thrown in the trash. Uh, there is one small bathroom currently and um, a storage space as well as a sprinkler system. This was the only existing office and it's gonna get turned into uh, basically storage, copy room and so forth, an old bathroom and sprinkler room. As you can see, the place still has TVs hanging from the ceiling from the video store days. The HVAC system has to be replaced. There actually are two units in this building. Both of those will be coming out and new units will be going to their place, hopefully more efficient. Full plumbing, heat, AC, electric, in the center of the building, uh, shared between the two different office spaces, ours and the rental space, will be a couple of new ADA accessible bathrooms. On our side of the building, we will actually leave the exposed ceiling. Um, lights will be changed out to LEDs, more energy efficient, give off better light as well. And because the window line is so high, we may not be putting blinds in in the offices. We may leave them as is. The vestibule uh, currently, as it exists, will be turned to the right and uh, adjusted just a bit. Now I should say, before we got to this point where we actually purchased the building, there was a lot of stuff that had to happen. Um, one of the biggest keys in the contracting process is knowing what it is that you're looking for. You obviously don't go in and purchase a building like this unless you have some idea what it is that you actually want, what it's gonna be used for, what you can afford. One of the key issues, of course. Um, our economy right now is facing some tough times, uh, but our office has been around for 13 years and uh, we've seen some ups and some downs, including the recession in 2009. Uh, so we have a pretty firm understanding about what the economics are of the area. Now, um, one of the other keys in the entire process is understanding what goes into it. Understanding the contracting process, a good realtor can help you with that. Um, an attorney 
for the closing and for reviewing contract documents, helping you understand what your obligations are. Uh, those things can be really important. Uh, equally important, actually, can be your banker and however you're paying financing to pay for the property and for the renovations. We had an excellent banker who helped us throughout the process, uh, who's assisted us in not only getting funding for purchasing the building, but also doing the construction. Um, that process is intensive. You've got to provide documentation. You've got to understand what your loan agreement is. All too often we have clients that come to us that didn't read the loan documents, don't have any understanding. Now I'm not expecting somebody to be able to recite what the loan terms are, but you need to have a basic understanding about what you're getting into. Now, in terms of the contract process for the construction, we've already gone through a lot of that as well. We've already hired a general contractor. We've got several subcontractors we've hired as well. Now, that process in selecting contractors is really important. I can't stress enough that you have to hire contractors who have a good reputation, who've been around. We have a client right now that we're representing who gave a contractor $40,000 to do a $200,000 renovation to his house. The contractor did zero work and walked away from the project. We're now having to sue to get the money back. Hopefully the contractor hasn't spent it all. That is something that happens. You have to hire people who are, have been tested, who know what they're doing, uh, and who will be around in case something goes bad. Um, the contractors we've chosen, we had several who provided us with bids. We had several who we've worked with before, uh, who have good reputations. Um, and we're confident that we'll be able to work with them. Now, we may run into issues just like anybody else does. But during that process, communication is really important. Making sure that you want to know, you understand what the expectations are, as do your contractors. If you do that, it'll solve a lot of problems before you ever have them. So for now, that is our building. Uh, it's not much to look at right now. It's pretty ugly. It's pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but uh, I'm confident that it will be worth all the time, the effort, the expense, and so forth. And in the end, uh, we will have an office that we can use for the next few decades to better serve our clients, a better work environment. Uh, and we're doing something big for the community as well. We're taking a property that had been essentially abandoned, uh, forgotten, was a bit becoming a bit of an eyesore, and we're converting it into something that's not only usable for us, but it's usable for another tenant as well. So uh, for now, that's it. Um, I will uh, do another video before too long. Thanks.